where would you think I lived if I told you temperatures could be 100 degrees one day and dip below 40 within eight hours? Summers are scorchers and we like to set the record number of days over 100 degrees. Yes, I'm a Texas country girl living in the big city, Dallas, Texas. Hi, I'm Susan Watkins. After graduating high school, I moved to beautiful Rogers, Arkansas, where spring is spring, winter is winter, and fall is a beautiful display of God's colorful creations. I like living in the mountains, fishing in the rivers, and beavers' man-made lake. Secluded mountain life is fun, but I miss the fast-paced city of my home state, Dallas, Texas. After a year in Arkansas, I, I moved back to Texas where the nightlife is happening and I'm closer to family and friends. But to be truthful, I miss the crazy ever-changing weather in Texas and my big fun-loving family. So you can get to know a little bit more about me and what I'm all about other than where I've lived. I would like to share with you four important objects in my life that will give you more complete picture of me and why I live my life to the fullest. My first object is family, which represents what I believe people see in me. You may think I started my family young. I think my parents would agree, but my ability to kick cancer in the butt and be a six year survivor is because of the love and support of my family. My family is my proudest accomplishment. This brings me to my next object, which is fear. Hmm. Which reveals something about me that is hidden. Being diagnosed with cancer at the age of 39 gave me a fear of dying. Like many other diagnosed with cancer, dying was my biggest fear. Keeping this fear to myself protected my family from pain. Prayers and faith have helped me overcome this fear. And this brings me to my next object, which is soccer, and how people see me that I don't actually agree with. Like, my, the love I have for playing soccer does not make me an athlete like others may think. You may think 40 years of playing soccer makes me an athlete, although I look at it as a passion. My love for soccer does not make me good at it. Continuing to play soccer for many years is due to the group of friends that I get to play with. This brings me to my fourth and final object, which is heart, which is a per the perception of what, how my best friend sees me. Love mends and heals all things when you put your heart into it. I would do anything for anybody giving the shirt off my back. I will always include everyone and never leave anyone out. I love with my whole heart and make sure everyone is taken care of. So now that you know a little bit more about me, other than that I'm just a classmate, I am blessed beyond measures with an amazing family that helped me overcome my fear and my passion for soccer and a heart that loves all. So. Thank you for spending this time with me and I'm looking forward to learning more about you.